When developing a node application, not an API, a front-end system must be in place to provide information to the client. In this instance, the application will be responsible for dynamically building the views and delivering the appropriate content to the client. What do we mean by this? Let's look at Target.com as an example. When the browser navigates to Target.com, a home view is delivered. Note the header area containing navigation items, a corporate logo, and other items. Below is the content in the form of a hero area and other sales information. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll find a footer with social media, copyright information, and legal items. The client, looking at this in a browser, can interact with it. On the server, all of this was built and delivered based on the URL of HTTPS www.target.com. To facilitate our implementation of building views, we will use two packages or tools, EJS and Express-EJS-Layouts. Both will be installed using the VS Code terminal command, pnpm add EJS space Express-EJS-Layouts. Once installed, they will be added to the server.js file, which you'll remember is the server for our application. What is EJS? In short, it is the view engine, or means, we will use to build dynamic views to deliver the content. So, what's a view? Returning to Target.com, let's click on the hero image. A landing page full of toys is delivered to the browser. Note the URL has changed. Now we can click on any type of toy. Again, a landing page is delivered consisting of toys, but only for that type. Look and see that the URL has changed again. Eventually, we can get to a toy and all of the details about that toy. But if we click back and click on a different toy, we get new data. But note that the layout is identical. That's because only the content changed. Pause the video and look closely at the URL. Then go back and look at the previous URL. The URL is a route which describes for the server what content is desired. The content changes, but the page structure does not. That's why it is a view, because it provides a single structure to present any number of content changes, all based on the URL's route. The structure for our view engine is managed by the Express EJS Layouts package. It allows us to build a framework describing all of the component parts and store it as an EJS file. The component pieces, the header, the navigation bar, a footer, and even a head, are each stored as partial files. A partial is exactly what it sounds like, a small part of the larger whole view. EJS is the code that puts everything together to build the finished view on the server, then delivers the finished product to the browser. Note the various code blocks that EGS uses to do all of this. The blocks, explanations, and examples can be found at EGS.co. If you look at the structure in VS Code, you'll notice that all of these are stored in a Views folder because that is where EJS expects to find them. The subfolders are to add order, so that everything is not just thrown into the Views folder. Let's illustrate why this is desirable. I will start the Local Express server and bring up the home page in a browser. Now I'll open the header partial and make a simple change. Returning to the browser and refreshing, you can see the change. 
This means that maintaining these common elements of the site are greatly simplified. All you have to do is change one partial and all views that use that file automatically update to reflect the change. That is a general overview of using EJS and the Layout Engine in a Node application to deliver content via views to the client for consumption.